Bloomberg's Mark Murphy, Travel Pulse founder. Mark, I mean, let's start where Jackie left off. She said that TripAdvisor is saying that folks should do additional research before they go to places like this. How do you how do you do that to make sure that you're going to a place where this isn't going to happen? Sure. Well, number one, you should be confident that when you look at that map, that map is the geography of the destination, the island. And these things happened all around. So to conflate that they're all connected is, 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 a, is a bit of a stretch, to be frank. So number one, that should give you some, some comfort. Number two, that Bahia Principe uh, business, they basically handle about 700,000 travelers a year in the DR. So again, when we're talking about something happening, this is not widespread. But it is disconcerting because, in particular to me, the couple getting to the bottom of what happened with the couple. So one of the best things they can do is talk to a travel agent who sells this destination regularly and get personal feedback, back it up with TripAdvisor if they want to validate some of the reviews. But there are people on the ground right now there today that are having a great vacation, and you just really have to balance what's happening and the Mark, investigation. Mark, yes. no one should die from drinking something on vacation. Well, you're connecting. Your okay. Down like it's not a okay. video. No, you're connecting someone drinking and this thing about the mini bar. So I'll give you one example. The Wallace gentleman went to the resort on the 10th of April, had a drink on the 11th, felt ill at some point thereafter. The 12th, the 13th, saw the resort doctor, went to the hospital there, and then died the next day. That's very different than the lady from Pennsylvania um, who had a drink, went out on her patio literally right after arriving, and they say had a heart attack. She screamed out in pain. Pain and then fell, and so, and that was so Mark, it. So there's a big difference. Is this the average number of people who generally die on vacation and on in in this area? So last the year, DR? last year under nefarious uh, circumstances, 13 Americans, according to the State Department, died in the Dominican Republic. And, and as you know, here, we're here in New York. There's a huge Dominican population that goes back and forth, like ethnic travel. So they could be American citizens visiting family. They could be people on vacation. Other than that, people who die of a natural natural causes that happens. All the time. It happens on cruise ships. It happens in resorts. So you, it happens on planes. So you're recommending that people go to these resorts on this island? I think if 8 million Americans have traveled to the Dominican Republic in the last four years alone, I think I'd feel pretty confident. I was just there in January. I personally would get on a plane tomorrow with my wife and kids and go there because I know the destination. And this is too scattered to be some conspiracy. Would you drink, would you drink from your mini bar? Um, I don't drink very much. So um, the answer would be yeah. I wouldn't worry about the mini bar. It's not like the, the mini bars in the Hard Rock are being serviced by the same people at the mini, uh, the mini bars at the Bahia Principe and as other resorts. So, again, this is a huge tourism destination, and they handle about six and a half million travelers a year. You so, don't think there's any chance they're being serviced by the I, same companies? I think there's a chance. Well, since I haven't investigated that, but I would question whether or not that is the case because their own employees okay. are actually doing the servicing of the mini bars. Mark Murphy, thank you. You're Insightful. Welcome. We'll see. All right.